How's it going everyone? I'm Adam Molina. The last time we got a chance to look at a pair of Plantronics headphones, we weren't quite sure what to make of them. The Backbeat Pro Plus weren't exactly the prettiest headphones, they were very bulky, and they were also pretty hard to use. But now we have the Plantronics Backbeat Pro 2, which promised to fix a lot of those issues. But is it enough? Let's find out. In the box, you'll get a nice carrying pouch with the headphones safely inside. Then you'll get a 3.5mm audio cable, a micro USB charging cable, and the instruction booklet and warranty information. When it comes to build, the Backbeat Pro 2s feel solid and a little more refined than their previous versions. They're slimmer than both the originals and the Backbeat Pro Plus. That's not to say that they're not still bulky, because they are, but the bulk is way more manageable now. Much more similar in size and feel to some of its competitors. They're mostly made of plastic, but there is a nice pleather padding on the ear cups and the headband. The bottom portion of the headband is even made of a breathable mesh. One of the main themes of the Backbeat Pro series is the level of control that the user has over their music without needing to reach for a source device. That trend continues here, with buttons, switches, and rotating wheels all over the place. On the right ear cup, there's a multi-function button on the side, micro USB, and 3.5mm inputs on the bottom, and then a button and a switch along the edges. We'll go over the exact functionality of each one of these a little later in the review. The left ear cup has a single switch along the edge, playback buttons on the side, and a rotating volume ring. Now as far as design goes, these aren't the prettiest headphones, but they definitely grew on me. The plastic around the ear cups has a textured pattern to it that's a little weird at first, but you get used to it. The headphone padding is a dark brown that kind of gives the headphones a more professional-ish look. What does take you back though is the fake wood pattern on the outside of the ear cups. Though I grew to like it eventually, at first glance it looks completely out of place and I can see how this kind of design might not be for everyone. One other aspect of the headphones that I wasn't fond of is that they don't have the ability to fold. The ear cups do swivel 90 degrees so it's easy to slide them back into the carrying pouch once they're flat, but if you're looking to save space in your bag while traveling or commuting you might have an issue with these. So one of the standout features of these headphones is the solid connection. They have class 1 bluetooth which means that you can stream music up to about 100 feet. And in our testing, we got a little under 80, but that's still pretty good. It has a similar range to the Beats Solo 3 wireless, but lacks the part where it seamlessly connects to your devices. The Backbeat Pro 2 is easy enough to connect, and it does have NFC, so you shouldn't have a problem if you have a compatible device. But you're still going to have to go to the Bluetooth settings and click to connect occasionally. As I mentioned before, the Backbeat Pro 2s do have a confusingly robust set of switches and buttons, but they let you control basically everything. You can pause or play music, skip between tracks, or adjust the volume using the controls on the left ear cup. That's also where you'll find the switch to turn on or off active noise cancelling as well as the open mic mode. This uses the microphones in the headphones to let sound in so you can hear what's going on around you. You can also access any personal assistance or answer phone calls by pressing the button on the right side of the ear cup. If you take off the headphones, sensors in the ear cup will know that they've been taken off your head and music will pause automatically. A sometimes annoying and sometimes really handy feature. Plantronics claims a battery life of 24 hours of constant playback with these, and that seems to be correct. I say seems to be because I've been using these on and off for about a week for hours at a time and I still haven't gotten them to die, so it's pretty good. If you mainly listen at your desk or during commutes, you can easily make these last a week or two. Tapping the button on the right ear cup when you're not wearing them will also illuminate tiny indicator lights, so you know roughly how much juice you have left. Now these are active noise cancelling headphones, but don't expect to get top notch noise cancelling out of them. Where other premium headphones tend to cut out the low hums of trains entirely, the Backbeat Pro 2s just cut that in half. It's a significantly less intrusive listening experience, but the hum is still there. The Backbeat Pro 2s have a decently strong low end that makes songs enjoyable, but they are a little too big sounding in my opinion. Songs that have deep thumping bass kicks or rumbling bass lines tend to sound a bit muddy. That's not to say that it sounds bad, but it definitely bleeds just a little too much into the lower mids. A good example of this is in L.E.S. by Childish Gambino, where the bass kick throughout the song is given way too much prominence. Besides the occasional muddiness in the lower mids, vocals were nicely detailed. The dreamy vocals of Let It Happen by Tame Impala sounded great, even though some of the background elements were a little too forward. The highs found a pretty nice balance between having a good enough amount of detail without becoming piercing. The airy reverb that I look for in hi-hats and cymbals got cut down a little, but even on max volume, they were comfortable to listen to. One of the most important aspects of buying anything is of course the price, and I kind of like leaving that for the conclusion. If you're looking for a pair of Bluetooth active noise cancelling headphones, there are a few other options that come to mind, mainly the Bose QC35s or the Sony Huron Wireless NCs, but both of those will run you about $350. 
That's where the Plantronics Backbeat Pro 2s win because they only cost $199. And of course the ANC isn't as strong, but you do get a crazy long battery life and all the controls you could possibly want. We're giving the Plantronics Backbeat Pro 2 an 8 out of 10. And that's about it for our review of the Plantronics Backbeat Pro 2. Thanks for watching. If you want to know more about these headphones or any of the other products we review, make sure to check out soundguys.com. But while you're here, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already, and sign up to our monthly newsletter so you can stay up to date with all the newest reviews and audio news here at SoundGuys. Links to all of that down there in the description. I'm Adam Molina. I'll see you later.